Super Bowls are won in the second half. And he's right about right. that. He's right about yeah. that. So, so Shanahan makes a really silly decision, a stupid decision. But the truth is, and I said this last week ten times, Francesca said it too, nobody, Joe Meningo, nobody was going to deny Pat Mahomes and Andy Reid the third Super Bowl. Nobody. Well, look, let's, be, let's start with this. Patrick Mahomes has now moved into, if he's not the greatest quarterback of all time, and you could start to make a case for that. I understand Brady's got, you know, his uh, seven Super Bowl championships. Patrick's only got three now, but he's only 28, and God knows where he's going from here. He's got at least 10 more years if he stays healthy. Uh, right now, he clearly, Patrick Mahomes has put himself in the probably the top five quarterbacks of, of all time wow. at this point. And you could certainly make a case that he is number one. I mean, it's it's certainly in the conversation. I, I he's, certainly number, he's certainly number one over the last seven, eight, nine, maybe even ten years, a lot of no end of Brady's career. But are you putting him past the Bradshaws, the Aikmans, the Marinos, the Montanas, the Elways? I'm just asking. I'm not arguing. I, I think, look, I mean, I think you got to. St- he's certainly in that conversation, bro. Yeah. I mean, oh yes. Uh, look, I mean, who do you want? I mean, I, I think the biggest mistake. You talk about the mistake that Shanahan made. First of all, two big plays in this game that killed the 49ers. Number one was the muff punt that set up the touchdown when the chief offense was doing nothing against the uh, San Francisco uh, defense. They did a great job. Wilkes did a great job putting pressure on Mahomes. He looked confused the entire first half. That muff punt basically gave him that touchdown and put him ahead 13-10. And then the missed the blocked extra point. I mean, that's one of the biggest plays yeah. in the game. Yep. You yep. know, I yep. mean, that set it up where a field goal now can still tie the game. Uh, I thought those two those two plays were key in this game. And and in Shanahan, for Shanahan, you never want to give Patrick Mahomes the ball last. You know what I'm saying? No, I agree with you. No, it's a stupid move. And by the way, you're right about those two plays. You're right about Mahomes. But let's go to the coach. You know, right yeah. now, he's tied with Bill Walsh and Joe Gibbs. Only right. two Three. guys in the history right. of the game, Bill Belichick and Chuck Knoll, have won more Super Bowls than Andy right. Reid. So the question right. is, who's closer to being the best ever, Mahomes at quarterback or Reid as head coach? No, it's definitely Mahomes. I, I, I don't think there's any question about it. It's definitely. Look, I give Andy Reid tremendous credit. He's been to five Super Bowls. He, he All those championship games with Donovan McNabb in Philadelphia, they finally got to the one bowl and you know lost to New England. I give him his props. He's one of the all-time. And a matter of fact, bro, only two guys have ever coached in more Super Bowls than him, and that's Belichick and Shula. Belichick with, uh, you know, the nine he co- he coached with the Patriots, and Shula, who coached in six, five with the Dolphins, the one with the Colts, where my team actually won a mere 55 years ago now. But <laughs> nevertheless, uh, you know, uh, is he up there as one of the all-time greats? Uh, no question. I think he's third in wins now behind he is. only uh, he is. Shula and, uh, and Belichick. And Belichick, he's right behind right, him. By the way, he's got... He's yeah. got this all, like just all time. I mean, this guy, this quarterback, this guy's unbelievable. I agree. I, I mean, agree. he can beat you. You know, I'm, one of the biggest plays of the game. All right, uh, was the uh, fourth down in overtime, and I'm watching him sitting with my wife. I think it was fourth and one, and I'm saying to her, "Yeah, Mahomes has got to run the ball here. He's got to run. You're Man, not giving the ball there. He's got to." And he did. He ran for about four yards in the first down. He got a big run as well in that final drive. Twenty about yards. Twenty yeah. yards. Yep. Right. Uh, this guy is, I'm telling you, bro, when all is said and done, you're going to look at him as, I think, number one. He I, may I, be. I, no, I really he, believe he's that. He's on that trajectory. He's not there yet. But, uh, by the way, the, the game you talked about, the Patriots and the Eagles, I actually went to that game with Matt Deutsch. It was the yes, last year. Well, there's, there's some tremendous, that was in Jacksonville. Yes. <laughs> and there's some tremendous stories. Yeah, there are some that stories. That was the last year I was with Jody Mack. The very next year, Joe Beningo joined me middays right. at WFN. Right. Um, right. so, so, great game. Kansas City gets the win. They move on. Right. And like you, like you said, you're right. They're a dynasty. Mahomes on his way to being the great, on his way to being the greatest yes. ever. Andy Reid, an all-time great coach. So for Joe Beningo now, what happens? Are you are you looking more forward to spring training with the Mets next month, the Jets number ten overall pick in April, or the conclusion of the season, the second half for the two winter local teams were doing very well, the Knicks and the Rangers. My biggest concern right now is the country, bro. I, I have to tell you, I, I am more concerned right now with what's happening in our country and in the world than with anything else. A- am I excited about the Knicks? It would be nice if everybody got healthy. I mean, you know, they need Randall healthy. They made this trade for Ananobi, and immediately he's hurt. Now he's got surgery on his elbow or whatever. You know, so I'm, and I like the trade they made, getting Bogdanovich and Burks and all of that. But 
Knicks got to get healthy. They got a real, they got a legitimate team, but without Randall and on and Obi, you know, there's only so far they're going to go. So they need these guys without, without doubt. As far as the Rangers are concerned, uh, look, I mean, they're hot now. They've won four in a row after uh, you know a little tailspin. They won their three games since the All Star break. Jonathan Quick, to me, has been the MVP of the team. I know Panarin's been phenomenal, but Shesterkin has not had a great year. His advantage had has been okay. He got the game winner in overtime the other night. Uh, two, two real good teams in the garden, but a um, you know, long way to go to get where they need to be. But as far as the Mets are concerned, please, the Mets are – you know, I thought the Wilpons were gone. I really did. And now we, <laughs> Same now, thing. now we got Steve Cohen. Same he ain't thing. spending money either with this guy Stearns he brought in. Don't get me started on him. You know, he's a small market GM. So, But my, my biggest concern right now – is Donald Trump winning the presidency again? I love it that. really is. That's why you belong here. If you do a Saturday show, I keep telling Katz Matidis and Chad this, you should do a Saturday show here, not the fan. First of By all, way, can I say something? Yes. Too? This, this makes me crazy. You know, the fact that, that the mainstream media and, and all the Democrats are defending Biden after this, this guy, her, the special counsel, basically said he's, you know, he basically said he's not fit to be president anymore, and not so many words, but he's basically said that. So if everybody's coming out now, oh, he's this, he's so she's sharp as attack and all, then why isn't he getting indicted? For, uh, <laughs> right, right, right. I don't hear none of that. No, I mean, no, oh, no, no, Don, no, oh, cool. No, well, no, well no, it's no, different because, yeah, you know, Don right. did. What, are you kidding me? I just oh, had that on. discussion with Steve Bannon right before you came on. Well, Don oh, had Steve obstruction Bannon of justice. Doing? Tell but, him I said hello. I right? will. But by the way, the difference is, and why, and why it's even worse that Trump has been indicted and not Biden, is when Trump did it, he was president. That right, means he can correct. declassify these right. these uh, items. Uh, Biden, as VP, couldn't even do that. So it was even well, he was doubly even doing dangerous. It when he was senator. It was, I mean, like from right. thirty years ago or whatever. I mean, come on. Yeah. No, you're, you're all over it, Joe. It's you're un- all over it. Unbelievable. Well, unbelievable. Thank you for coming on this morning, as always. Another uh, excellent, excellent, excellent appearance. I love you to death, and we'll talk again next week. We'll do more Donald Trump. Hey. God bless. And God when bless you. you. Big Don, when you see Big Don, tell him I said hello. I'm right? going to see him in March. I'm going. I'm actually going to do three shows from Miami. I'm going to spend uh, when a whole. Doing, by the way, when are you going to Mar-a-Lago to in do March. the exclusive interview? Uh, in March. I can't oh, give. It, I, I was told that I can't give out the exact date, but in March, yes. Okay. Isn't that cool? Not, bro, who's the, uh, Sid, who's better than you? <laughs> you are, bro. Joe, uh, I, love, I love you, Joe. Thank you. <laughs>